Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about two journals which is fast publication and paid journal. So uh, one journal has these scopes like applied science and technology. Here you can see what are all the various uh, science and technologies uh, they are uh, concentrating on. And the next one is what chemical science okay analytical chemistry inorganic chemistry so everything related to chemical science earth science engineering sciences environmental science information computer and communication technologies so this is the scope of first journal and another journal which we are going to see is what social science and humanities related journal that is social science architecture and habitat consumer and family economics education consumer law everything tourism sociology and humanities literature language and linguistic a dance music philosophy and everything so let's see very first journal is what Britannica journal of science and technology which is which covers all these scope okay so here you can see that this is uh, in the scopus indexed list that is from 2010 to present and the publisher is what university putra malaysia okay so these are all the subject area which they are covering let us go and check the journal page so here you can see that what are all the what are all the scope okay this is what the uh, first home page of the journal and here you can see that this is q3 journal and if you want to see uh, some more about the journal lessons you have to go and check for the scope of the journal okay so click here scopes here it will show you what are all the scope of the journal they are just providing oh apart from that apart from information computer and technology they are also uh, pro providing the that is they are also accepting the article which are all of material science and physical science so it's great and if you want to know more about the uh, that is a processing time everything they have clearly mentioned okay so few things which we have to definitely see is what the first one is the processing time whether the journal is really indexed in scopus you have to cross check and the third one is uh, what is the time duration that is what is the frequency of the journal and how much they are if it is a page journal how much we have to pay for it and plagiarism policy you have to check other than that um, uh, th the template and what is uh, when you have to submit everything okay so if you go and check for the processing time they are um, telling that 90 days submission to acceptance between submission and to acceptance it is taking 90 days so what is that see uh, initially once you will be submitting right you will be submitting the journal this is what the first stage okay the first stage what you will be submitting your journal submission so after that they will be ha they have to undergo uh, um, that is a review okay if it is a, a two blind review in the sense they'll be sending you to two reviewers two different reviewers without your name and without your uh, identity okay so two reviewers have to check so for as uh, if if they are sending it to the reviewer they'll be giving at least one week of time to review okay this is the minimum time and maximum they'll be giving 15 days to 20 days of time to review okay and uh, this will take one week to 15 days okay they have to check for the review okay so from submission to the review uh, they have to wait so this might be approximately they may take uh, two to four weeks okay because within 90 days they are promising within three months right so two to four weeks if the paper is accepted you will be getting it uh, within two to four weeks anytime it's not mandatory that you will be getting only the end of the fourth week okay the review if the review is responded first then you will be getting the uh, 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 that is acceptance or anything status immediately if the paper is rejected by any one reviewer and if it, the paper is accepted by the another reviewer in that case what it will happen this rejected uh, uh, one no that is again it will be sent to an another reviewer or else if the, he has rejected because of any corrections okay if he has told like i need uh, these things to be corrected everything so again this correction should be made by the author and it has to send back to the uh, uh, it has to submit again and this will be sent to the reviewer 
okay so these process so if your paper is under major revision or if it is rejected by both the reviewers then the rejection status will will be sent to you within 2 weeks okay that is within um Uh, within ten days of time, if it is accepted, it will take uh, another twelve days. Another that is ten uh, to twelve days, twelve or two uh, two to four weeks of time to send you send the response to you. Okay, and after that, what it has to do? They have to get your uh, copyright and everything, right? Your data, your copyright, and any other thing you have to do. You have to change typesetting, everything. It has to uh, go for the grammar checking, plagiarism check. Everything has to be done. So, of course, plagiarism check will be done before they have sent. Uh, they will be. Uh, they have to. They will inform the feedback to you. Okay, the first inform, uh, the first uh, uh, information about the feedback. okay but anyhow from submission to the what are they are telling from submission to the acceptance okay finally acceptance it will take 90 days okay 90 days because between this 90 days you should understand that what are the things will happen okay and acceptance to publication also it will take 90 days once this completely it may be it's not man it is not uh, compulsory that it they will take uh, 90 days for every paper okay if your paper is perfect and they have it, it has been accepted and everything is going smoothly then complete thing will be happen within 90 days your submission to the uh, that is your submission to the publication will happen within 90 days okay so this is what so if you see uh this is what the uh, processing time so you sh- you all should accept if if anyone if any journal is telling you that i will uh, publish your paper tomorrow itself or i will pay pa- accept your paper by tomorrow within 24 hours don't believe that okay because understand you are submitting your paper if it has to undergo two blind review or at least one blind review it will take at least one week of time at least one week okay it may take even 20 days to 30 days but you should understand all these things and nothing will happen uh, within a day in specifically in research okay so be very cautious and this is the processing time what is the peer review process here you can find a double blind peer review so it will be sent to two reviewers okay if you want to know about these terminologies like peer review and uh, what is uh, uh, what is the sci what is that impact factor everything i have discussed in an another pre- previous video you can go through and find it okay uh, i can tell you that in this website in this particular journal they are giving you 60% acceptance rate okay so these things have to happen they have to send for two blind review from there they will be sending you thorough objective fair everything the research globally in order to achieve the global thing so it has to be your your uh, article should have a proper uh, content that is strengths and weakness everything review quality okay they have to check for the quality what is expected from the reviewer so these things the reviewer they will be expecting from the reviewer and they have to check for your plagiarism they will be sending you if you have a plagiarism which is more than 10% better always you just pre- uh, maintain below 10% okay and timeliness review should be prompt within 2 weeks see the reviewers they are giving 2 weeks for the reviewers to review your paper so even if it is accepted or rejected that will be sent to you within 2 weeks okay peer review process 2 to 3 referees is independently evaluated so this is what the extra thing which you have to see okay you have to check before you submit your journal and what happens to your manuscripts once it is submitted so here they have seven step process okay this will be there for every journal you cannot uh, you cannot simply submit and everything will happen you cannot expect everything should happen within a day okay so it will under it will undergo seven step process the uh, so these are all the process you can just get uh, spend some time to review all these things okay so um, uh, this for these steps it will definitely take two to three weeks fine but it is a fast journal okay and let us see like what is the um, frequency of the journal they are uh, that is january april july and october so four years four times a year okay so quarterly issues they are just trying to and it is a 27 years old journal so this is okay so fine you can just go ahead and let us see like what is the publication charge it is 250 dollar as of now i think it is 19000 something uh in us dollar 
and uh, uh, that is it, this may change based on the um, dollar rate increase or decrease in the dollar rate okay you can make the payment here itself but don't make it unless and until you get the acceptance mail from them okay so this is simply i'm just showing you okay and apart from that you can find more information first you what i will suggest is first to go through the complete uh, that is a complete website understand what is their uh, uh, what is their expectation see submission guideline is here you have to just check for the submission guideline and you have to prepare your content according to that okay few journal will also give you the statistics okay this is what the journal citation index uh, this is a category of multidisciplinary uh, sciences because they are accepting almost many uh, many uh, many subject and fields right and the top three contribution of the organization okay these are all fine these are all the basic statistics okay and uh, if you want to know more about it you can just go to go here and know more about this okay index statistics indexing okay what are all the indexing they have scopus indexed okay web of science wos indexed okay and um, this is scopus and web of science that is great okay so you can uh, check all these things before you submit. So this is about uh, Petanica Journal of Science and Technology. Next one, we are going to talk about the same thing, which is Petanica Journal of Social Science and Humanities. Okay. Uh, the publication is uh, that is issues are May, June, September and December. This is different one. Okay. This is um, uh, January and this is May, June, September and December. Uh, even they are giving only, even here also they are giving only four issues per year. Other than that, you have to go and check for the scope of the journal. Here you can find social science and humanities. What is the processing time? It is nearly 90 days. As we discussed clearly about what what or do you mean by a processing time and how you should expect. Okay. And you should go through all these things even if these information will be available in most of the journals. Okay. You have to just go through it completely before you submit any, any article okay and also you should go and check for submission guidelines fine and um, you can also check for copyright statement publication charges and everything i think the same publication charge will apply because both are the same journal this publisher they are giving a different journal names okay great i hope you uh, find something useful from this so here you can also find from when they have been in scopus and also you have to check for uh, what are the indexing okay so uh, don't uh, forget to know about the submission guidelines here you can see instruction to the uh, authors and scope of the journal okay in the instructions to the author you have to ch check and also you should check for indexing fine so it this will be good in the uh, in the information you can find the indexing even this is in web of science okay anyhow whenever you are trying to publish your paper i don't think so when you will be seeing this uh, video so whenever you're trying to publish this please go and check in the scopus database as well as the web of science database if you are expecting this to be in the data uh, web of science as well okay it is better to cross check and also know whether uh, you are uh, whether you, your article is under the scope of this journal have a great day bye bye if you have any doubts please leave that in the comment